XL XS review. Included are two blasters, a handful of darts, some discs, and these fake can things that are made of plastic. I purchased a two pack, but these are the same thing, so I'm just gonna go over one. This is a spring power pistol that shoots darts out of the main cylinder and then discs up in the top thing. I will go over the external, show you how it works, show you the firing, and then give you my opinion. Starting with the front, um, the orange nozzle doesn't do anything, no attachments there. The cylinders are where the main darts fire from. I found it easiest to load the bottom because it rotates freely, and then when you need to move it into place, you just force it in there. There's no release button. Now you're good. This blue thing is the priming handle, so you pull that back and now you're ready to fire. The trigger pull is as expected from a spring blaster, no real comments. The grip is pretty comfortable. Um, I do like the proportions of the grip to the trigger and everything. I'm actually pretty surprised Hasbro has not thrown a patent infringement because that looks an awful lot like the Maverick handle. It feels like one too, it's just a little bit thinner and a little bit smaller. Up top, this little orange thing moves up, um, revealing this little loading area for the discs. You just set the discs in and then it just feeds with gravity. The firing concept is you prime the blaster once and then it fires the disc and the dart at the same time. There's no like on off or to switch which one you wanna fire. If both of them are loaded, both of them will fire. Assuming it doesn't jam, which it does a lot. Sixty one, sixty six, fifty seven, fifty four, forty seven, fifty nine feet per second. Now for the discs. Twenty four. Okay, 24, I'm not gonna waste my time. I left the jams in there um, just to show you how crappy this blaster is. It jams so much. The disc thing, totally not worth using at all. Uh, the darts shoot okay um, in consistency if you prime it really slowly and let the rotation mech sort of catch up to you. If you try to go fast, it jams on you. Um, the rotation of the cylinder to swap it out is okay. Uh, the mechanics elsewhere are okay but the rotation is crap, which is pretty important to a revolver. The capacity is pretty cool, and flipping between cylinders is also pretty cool, but if you want something like this, I'd recommend getting a Flip Fury. It's not going to jam on you because the Flip Fury isn't crap like this one. Um, unless you really, really like yellow and blue and you really want your gun to jam a whole lot, I wouldn't recommend this. It's a cool concept to be able to shoot both at once, but the disc blaster doesn't really work at all, um, and not being able to turn it off is kind of irritating um, because sometimes you might just want to shoot one or the other, but you can't. To reiterate, can't recommend this really for any reason. Again, unless you're a cosplayer and you just want the shell. Other, I mean, I don't know why you'd be watching a review since function is irrelevant. You can see the shell with a picture, but you know, other than that. It jams a whole lot, doesn't shoot hard when it doesn't jam, um, and I mean, whatever, buy a Flip Fury, bam, done. But if, if for some reason you want one, there's a buy link in the description box below. Uh, that's my opinion and review. Thanks for watching.